Welcome back to Studio 209, sponsored by Master Locking Pliers, 209 Magazine. Studio 209 starts now. Welcome to another episode of Studio 209. I'm Krista Messer. This week is all about the community as we head to Pittman High for Turlock Relay for Life where they raised over $120,000. Then we head to Denaire Public Library for the county-wide Summer Reading Challenge. Take a seat and enjoy the show. 209 Magazine, the only magazine of its kind is here. Pick one up in Turlock, Manteca, Oakdale, and any other Morris Newspaper Corporation location. Or find us online at 209magazine.com. Relay for Life is the number one fundraising event for the American Cancer Society. Relay for Life to me is a place where people that have contact with cancer come and you can just be comforted by people who have gone through similar experiences with you and you can remember those that you've lost and honor those that have made it through. Relay for Life for me is really about the community coming together and for us being part of the Turlock and Pittman Relay for Life teams it's about getting the kids involved. They may think they know what cancer is all about before the event, but what they take out of it after the event is priceless. The event is meant to walk around a track for 24 hours, which is to enact a day in the life of a cancer patient, because cancer doesn't sleep, so neither do we. Participation in our community has been awesome. I mean, we uh, we have different businesses, we have different um, individuals that just come together with teams for family that they want to uh, raise money for. We have the high schools; they have been just awesome. They've raised over thirty thousand dollars by themselves. We have raised over five thousand dollars. And Turlock High has raised over $30,000. This is the biggest club on campus other than FFA. Uh, we have about 190 kids and we have raised over $36,000 this year. Just walking around, I've seen a lot of people that I actually know from Turlock and I've known my whole life that I just realized have cancer. They're either battling it now or they are survivors. There's always someone out there touched by cancer that I find when I get to this event and I never knew it. In 1993, I was going to school at UC Santa Barbara. I was a graduate of Turlock High School and went there afterwards. And all of a sudden, um, I wasn't feeling very well. And so I, when I came home to visit my mom, I ended up going to urgent care and they diagnosed me with bronchitis. When I finally went back down to school again in Santa Barbara, they diagnosed me with Hodgkin's disease. So I was a college student with a cancer diagnosis. The reason I started in Relay for Life is um, I lost my mother and my father both to cancer and then my father-in-law and my first husband. So I felt like it was almost like a losing battle and I wanted to get involved in something that would um, feel like I'm doing something to help. I was involved in the very, very first relay that we had in Modesto. Um, I wanted to give back. I knew that ACS was a great program and um, what they were all about. So I decided to volunteer from there starting um, in 1994. And so uh, since then I've always been involved. Um, now. Unfortunately, or fortunately, we do have a team um, in my daughter's honor. She did have cancer and she passed away, so now we have Cassandra's Grace. It, it makes me feel like I'm doing something for them. Uh, one of the first events I went to, we let balloons go for um, messages to heaven. And when I looked up and sent those balloons, all I could think was I was looking at my parents saying, see, I'm doing something. It does not discriminate, and so that's why I think it's really important that we're still pushing for a cure, still pushing for research, so this can end because it devastates lives.
weekly craft programs all summer long. We have one program on Tuesdays at 3 o'clock for tweens and teens, and then we have one for our little kids, which is all ages, but even the youngest ones can come, and that's Wednesdays at 3 o'clock. It is kind of a way to combat the summer slide where kids are losing their education and their reading skills through the summer. So it's the kind of way we get kids to read throughout the summer. Countywide, everyone could do the program where they get prizes for reading. That's part of the summer reading challenge. But there is craft activities at all of our 13 locations. There's lots of things going on in the summer, but this place is it's free, it's safe. Um, it's something for the kids to do. Get them out of the house, get them out of trouble. They're making little superhero cutouts and they're making a little ID card that they can say what their superpowers are, what they do, and their name and stuff like that. They generally have fun and it's a great way for them to have friends, you know, after school, and it's also a great way for them to meet new friends. Her name is Bella and she likes to do sports, like basketball, soccer, softball, pretty much any sport. Her name is Diane. Her superpower is she can fly and she's invisible, and um, there's no one else like her. Her name is Caitlin. Her superpowers are laser eyes. That means she can see lasers out of her purple eyes. Superpowers are everything, and can see, can fly. And she's nice. I made Soccer Girl because I like soccer very much. And um, her superpowers are to help people play soccer if they don't know how to and they really want to. We have it all planned out all through South Summer Long. We do have flyers for that. Um, we have anything from making your superhero, making superhero costumes. Um, for teens, we have duct tape crafts. We have making LED light boxes. They can go to our website, which is stanislauslibrary.org. All events for kids, adults, and tweens are listed on there. Have you heard about master locking pliers? Well, if you haven't heard about them, you might want to pay attention because master locking pliers are the next big thing in the world of tools. If you're a professional handyman or somebody who likes to do it yourself, then you need this tool. In fact, you can use this tool to replace your toolbox, save space, and boost efficiency. In my hand, I hold more than just a pair of pliers. Notice the soft grip handles and the three-way ratchet, which is compatible with Phillips, flat, star, hex, and square screwdriver bits, as well as an array of sockets and extensions. Need to change a spark plug? No problem. Does that cabinet door need attention? No problem. What about that bike tire? No problem. Make your life easier with the 47 piece Master Locking Pliers Deluxe Package. Or you can grab the 18 in one Master Locking Plier Set. Stop sifting through your toolbox. Reach for the one tool that meets all your needs. Master Locking Pliers. Well, that's it for another episode of Studio 209. Be sure to catch our next episode at TurlockJournal.com and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. While you're at it, make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and keep an eye out for the next issue of 209 Magazine that highlights the all-American lifestyle. For everyone here at Studio 209, I'm Chris Demester and we'll see you next time. Lizar Kaylian here. You probably recognize me from my work with Studio 209. Well, we have a slew of fun and exciting new episodes coming your way, but in the meantime, I recommend you check out some of my favorite segments that we've done so far. And don't forget, click on the Studio 209 icon and subscribe to our channel.